Hi, my name is Jonathan. Welcome back to the channel. Now I've been pulling together a few everyday carry items that are a little bit more heavy duty than the ones I normally carry. And I also wanted them to look as good as they work. Now this is what I've come up with. Let's take a closer look. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This consists of the core essentials of an everyday carry range, which is a pocket knife, a flashlight and a pen. My normal choice would be the Victorinox Compact and a Rovi Vaughan keychain light. And these serve me well and I continue to carry them. But if I wanted something a little bit more heavier duty, what would that look like? Now for me, what I really like is the leather and brass that sort of reflects the Victorian age of invention. So first of all, let's look at the um, pouch. This is really lovely. And this is bought from Etsy and it's made in Lithuania. And I find in Eastern Europe, there are a whole load of very skilled leather workers and the attention to detail and the quality of some of these is really good. I've linked to the Etsy page where I got this. It took three or four weeks to arrive, um, but it was worth the wait because the finish and the quality is absolutely top notch. So what have I got in here? Well, let's look at the pen to start with. So I wanted a short pen. I was looking for brass and this is the Makami TPX8. It looks like it's something Doctor Who would use. It's a short pen, which I really like because it makes the whole pocket carry very compact. It is a bolt action pen. So you've got that kind of fiddle factor, which is really nice. It's brass and it looks kind of a mix of old and futuristic. I really like the look and this loop here is titanium and can clip onto a keychain or could be on a lanyard and it just adds a little bit of interest in detail. It uses a Lamy refill, so it writes really nicely and the refills are easy to obtain. And it fits really well in the kind of elasticated pocket you, you get on a lot of pouches. The weight on this pen is 30 grams, so it's, it's pretty lightweight. And there is a titanium version that's also available, which is about 10 grams lighter. I purchased this from Henny Homes in the UK and I will put a link to them in the description at the bottom of this video. Then we come to the flashlight. This is the Rovi Vaughan A29 in brass. I am a huge fan of Rovi Vaughan flashlights. I particularly like the user interface and they always fit a whole load of functionality into their flashlights. This one is a little bit heavier than a lot of the range because it's brass, but I think that's kind of a price worth paying for the looks. It's got four light modes, including a turbo mode, and it also has a distress mode. And what I particularly like is this firefly mode. In this very dim mode, it's just enough light to find your way around without waking everybody in the room or in the tent. And uh, that's something I really like to see in a flashlight, a firefly mode. It's rechargeable and its uh, battery life is really good considering its size and the power is also really good considering its size. If you wanted to see a full review of the Rovi Vaughan A29, just jump on this link here. It's a flashlight I really like. One of the great things about this pouch is it has a cutaway here to allow you to push up what's in this and it's quite a tight fit, so that's really useful. And in here we have what you might call a gentleman's knife. This one is the Luna from a company called Real Steel and it is a really fabulous knife. It's a slip joint, so it's non-locking and the blade is under three inches, so it's UK legal to carry, which is 
excellent. Uh, the quality feels really, really nice. There's a little bit of jimp in there so you can get a, a grip and it also stops the knife folding on you. If it does fold, it has a mid stop around about there and then a final stop and it's really easy to pull out and feels really well made. The scales are G10, so they're very grippy, which is what you want. And this has bronze uh, elements to it. This one uses D2 steel, so it's got a little bit more carbon in it. It's very hard. It's also hard to sharpen, I'm told. It's razor sharp out of the box. It has a lanyard loop there and a deep carry pocket there. It's almost invisible if you put it in the pocket. It weighs 50 grams, so there's not much weight to it at all, but it feels really substantial and it looks great. It is just a really nice knife. Let's just check the weight of everything together. Okay, so we are looking at 6.28 ounces or 178 grams, which is about the weight of a standard reasonably sized multi-tool. So you're getting quite a lot of functionality in there, I would argue. So I hope that's been useful. If you enjoy this sort of content, please consider subscribing. You can do that here. And also if you want to see a full review of the Brass Rovivon A29 flashlight, you can pick that here. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.